I believe that in America, you are the first line of defense for security, and especially if you're way out in the middle of nowhere. And that's why I am for the right to bear arms big time. And so um, if you're a farmer out in the middle of nowhere and you have a lot of magazines for your assault rifle, but you never, ever, ever leave your farm with, with that many magazines, um, it's really not going to bother me, um, especially if you're following your state law. And that's the thing. Like, it's really up to you to follow a state law. Follow your state law. Um, but you have to be reasonable about it. I obviously have pistols and I have shotgun and I have body armor, which is not body armor. It's, it's for my backpack. Like I didn't have a gun when I was in college, which probably is a good thing because um, suddenly you have a gun and everyone wants to shoot you. Oh gosh. But um, I believe that, that that's reasonable. I've got, I've got three pistols right with me right now. Um, and then I have another pistol that's an old pistol that's an, an antique that would still work if I needed it, but I'd have to have special bullets for it, and I don't have special bullets for it. Um, but my point I'm trying to make is, like, I believe that I am part of an army no matter what, because we have, you can create a militia in your small town like that. And I feel like a lot of people have a problem with me during imaginary World War III telling people how to shoot and stuff like that. But I also know that we outnumber them with guns. And that that is, like, no matter what happens, like, with, like, a, a terror cell, a group of people, that, a small group of people that are hard to monitor because they, they are very good at hiding. They're very good at blending in. There are so many freaking people in the United States you don't understand the amount of terror cells that are in the freaking United States. But they're not terror cells until they turn into terrorists. They're just regular people that are friends, and they, but, they, but they do understand that there's, like, this, that they are spies together. And so, say that a terror cell starts doing, going and killing people and taking guns and stuff like that. That's a problem. And that's why a well-organized militia exists. And that's why if you're in a small town, you can't wait for the military to get there, even though they can get there pretty fast. Like, I, I believe that you and, and your people have a, a, an obligation to defend your country. And so the last thing I'm ever going to do is be against guns. But at the same time, I'm, I, I understand like, if you need a, a million magazines for your assault rifle, uh, and, and you're in like even a, a reasonably small town, then you should have a place where you guys stash your magazines together. And then it's not like a, a lone wolf type situation or a terror cell type situation. Um, but um, obviously sometimes it can get pretty difficult to explain like why you have so many magazines. And I understand that people are, um, are concerned about not being safe in the event of um, people attacking them, but you have to understand that, like if you if you don't feel safe in the event that people attack you You don't understand You don't trust your government and you don't trust your your own people in your own community because when it comes down to it like if, if if the shit hits the fan Who you have who do you have to trust your own community? I mean because really because people have to come and like what am I what am I gonna do is the Illuminati gonna come to your community and um, And start shooting you of course not um, it, it, like, but, but at the same time, a terror cell could come to your community and wow, is that really what I, what I was trying to say? All I'm saying is like, who are you defending it from? Because some people want to have weapons to come kill us and then just start killing people. And, um, and that's why it's really important that those people get killed like in a, in a very smart way. Um, but some people believe in having guns to protect themselves from like an outside invader or something or if like if a terrorist cell comes to your town like you don't have to wait for the military to get there and so uh, those are the people that um so so like my point is i understand why people have guns and i understand why people have a lot of magazines and stuff like that but i'm still i still think if you're close enough to a police station but do you really want to put a put a label on your gun supply uh, here is where we keep all our guns in the event that you want to have a terrorist attack on a specific group of people and yeah you might take heavy losses then but then the whole town screwed you don't that's why you don't it's really you have to be careful about where you stash your munitions but um, and that's you know and that's one of the reasons why I think it's important to talk to people like this and say hey like what what does what, what your town do and um, maybe it's better that the guns are all distributed like I've got all these guns here I've got all these shotguns I have all these pistols but 
Like, that's for home defense. Um, but, uh, yeah. All I'm saying is we should trust the American people and we need to trust the American people, but we have to, but like, we should always do it within reason because it's not very hard to figure out that the world is full of spies and full of people with um, malicious intentions.